my background and my art is called Harangdo. Harangdo is ancient Korean martial art, one of the original martial arts of Korea. And people that have come in that have seen me do a class will say that at one point the class looks like it's a Taekwondo class. But at another point they'll say it looks like an Aikido class. And then at another point it'll say they'll say that it looks like a Kung Fu class. Well no, it's all of that. Because we combine all of that. Again, it is one of your original arts and it also was a combat art. I happen to be blessed that I started Hondo in 76. I'd already had a black belt in Taekwondo. I'd already done other things. So when I went to college, I started doing Hondo. And it was a military art then. We were teaching, we were in the Kennedy School of Warfare, and we were doing various things with various people. And things changed throughout times. We were talking about earlier, things got maybe more commercial. And so things were left behind. But then my teacher said no. My teacher, the most honorable grandmaster, Yung Kinao, he uh, said, no, we're going to go back to the way we were. We're going to do our traditional things. And I still taught in the tradition. I still do things in a traditional way. My teacher is also very open-minded. My teacher often said to us, train, have friends, work with your friends. Look at their step. It might help your step. Work with them. It'll help you understand what you're doing. And I've got to say, oh, yes. When I came to Cincinnati, I, like I said, I may not have been as extremely blessed in my film and cinema career, because, I mean, you guys haven't seen my latest blockbuster movie, have you? No, of course not. Of course not. That's because I never had the financing to do it. I had the script before they no. But, I've been extremely blessed in the people in my martial career and my martial life that I've been able to work with. You know, starting with Professor Moses Powell and Chief Blackhawk and things. And then I met this other gentleman who, uh, when I went back home and I told my teacher about him, I'm like, okay, you work with him too. <laughs> and I'm like, okay. And so working with this other person, um, it opened up my mind and my eyes to various techniques and things. And I could see different applications, different things. And then uh, uh, continuing to work with Grandmaster Fairbanks, it was just like, oh, wait a minute, this means this. This could also mean this. Then what happened to me is something that <clears throat> happens to <clears throat> certain older folks. <laughs> um, I had to have, I finally couldn't take the pain and I had to have a total hip replacement. Now, if you know Korean martial arts, and we are a traditional Korean martial art, when I first came back, before, this is our stance. When I came back, I could not get into that stance. For the life, I tried going this way, but this didn't like to bend down. Not for a while. And um, there was a torment. I think uh, Master Wright was guilty, and I know <laughs> Calvin was guilty also. <laughs> There is no. I was doing a tournament, and I thought I was back, and I thought I was fine. It was about seven months after the operation, and all of our forms begin with energy gathering. So I did this motion. Well, as soon as I did that, <laughs> the pain started at my big toe, went all the way up to my hip, danced there for a few minutes, shot up to my head, came back down, stayed there for a while, and then went back down to my leg. To this day, where my favorites were I don't know how I finished the form. I have no clue. I know I went through everything. I went through all the motions. I did everything. I did, but I don't remember doing it. I just remember breathing. And then at the end, and that's when told me that you guys were laughing. I was standing like this. And I didn't move because I was not there. I couldn't move. Grandmaster Fairbanks was a center judge, I think. He had to get up and kind of guide me off. The pain was so... And that's when I say, I gotta change how I'm doing everything. I 
got to change how I'm doing things. I can't do these things anymore. So I have to alter. It doesn't mean I can't do Harlem Go. It doesn't mean I can't do martial arts. I just simply have to adapt and alter things. One of the first things I did was adapt. We call it net cool, like an inner stance. So instead of fighting like this, doing this in my forms, or here, I said, well, if I just did this, I achieved the same thing. This was an old, very old, original Korean stance that when they came here, when my research, this stance was, a, was abandoned because it was hurt for a while for some people, and they stopped doing it. So they just went back to this or this. I kept doing this, and I realized I can do things for people. I can do all my maneuvers, I can do my forms, I can do everything from this position. Okay, now let me see how I can do things. Having said that, I'm going to do part of one of our primary forms, and then how we used to do it. Then I'm going to show how I have to do it now. And my teacher, when I did it in front of my teacher, he just nodded his head, uh, Master, Grandmaster, you know, what's her name? And Chung Kwanjin, they both went, except Chung Kwanjin smacked me in the back of the head and said, took you long enough to learn. <laughs> I'm going to start off with the traditional way that we do it, and then the way that I'm doing it now, which I found out was one of the original ways that we used to do it. This is the way I started doing it, and when I got the smack upside the head for taking so long to realize. Stance went from here and here. 
some more here. My motions went from more hard to soft, but very practical. I hate to do this to you. My coffee guy, I heard. Third part today, right side. Fix your hands. You need to explain this first. In studying, start understanding what's called corpse of duty, pressure point, the meridians. How do meridians work in the body? For example, just to show you, uh, step back, no stands, step forward and punch your best stance you have. Don't let me move. Punch me. Don't let me move. Okay? No matter what, I'm not gonna move, right? Ready? Okay. Check it out. Step back. Do it again. Don't let me move. Ready? I don't care what he does. I'm gonna move. Come on, strong. 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 Make it great. Ah, ew, ah, ew, ah, slap. Okay, what you do? I'm gonna move it. Reason being, if you split the body down the middle this way, across this way, you have quadrants. One, two, three, four. Same thing in the back. This quadrant here is allergic to this one, this one, and that. Anybody here ever have acupuncture? Yeah. If you have a pain left that is over here, first place to put the needles is down here. Mm -hmm. Works like that for us in combat. Mm -hmm. So when a punch is coming, this is strong. There's no quadrant here. So coming here, don't move. It's a fight. Relax. Come back. If I come to that quadrant there, I'm gonna move it. Don't let me move it. Ready? Lock it. Come on, ready? I don't care what he does. He's gonna move. Okay? With that in mind, the first motion that I did after breathing, relaxing, is when he came out. Okay. And brought back in. Okay. Brought into me. And give it back to him. Draw it in and back. This motion, when I'm here, this is a fun one. Uh, punch. Step in. You guys know what this is, right? <laughs> you know what this is? <laughs> <laughs> Don't look. <laughs> We're gonna turn him into Michael Jackson. <laughs> okay? He's gonna turn into okay. an alien. <laughs> but here, a lot of people go here and here. I learned right in here. Right, right in here. Yeah. Take a breath. Exhale. Watch the hands. No power. Just like you said, it's a core. Six inch punch. From here and here, there's no power. Instead of going to the groin, I'm coming right to his center. Right to his center. Ready? Then let me move you. It's all here. This is what I'm doing. I'm coming in here. Taking the next person, locking. Punch. Boom. Doesn't stop here. Because actually what I'm doing is when he's coming in, I'm taking this. And my hand is coming this way. Coming down in your arm, you have fire and metal points. So I learned that fire and metal, wood. Fire cuts metal, 
Fire too. Fire burns metal. Metal cuts wood. If I didn't like him, that would be a knockout. All I'm doing is taking the energy down, connecting these points, and then coming here. This is another reason why traditional martial artists put their hand here. Because this is a good point. Put your hand here, you're covering that wood point, so it don't accidentally, and when you're doing energy training, accidents happen. Accidents happen. This prevents the accident. And everybody knows what you're doing. Because if I hit fire burns metal, metal cuts wood, we'd be waking them up. Making sense? Thank you. Yeah. You're a traditional Korean martial art, but in doing these things, understanding the, the elements and emotions, my teacher, and I'm very blessed to have a teacher that was very open-minded, said, look around. And then again, as a number of you have mentioned, I was blessed to meet a particular person that understood a lot of different things, and I was able to go, oh, wait a minute, even five elements, this, this is in our forms. This is fire, this is water. This is wood. They're in all our forms. Well, how do you apply that to combat? I'm sitting up, researching, looking at, writing, doing, <laughs> watching one day. We were in class, I was in class with Grandmaster, and he did the motion, I was like, it was almost like a comic book. A light bulb went off and I went, that's what I'm doing, I'm coming in here, here, what that is. Just keep an open mind, keep watching, keep looking, and just, I enjoy this. This is fun. Sir, I gotta thank you for inviting me. Oh. Okay. 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 Okay.